what's up you guys welcome back to my video featuring my cat little one hi sweetheart um today <clears throat> before i get started i'm gonna say excuse my voice i sound really nasally and really congested because i have allergies right now and they hit hard for some reason during the winter time so i'm just gonna sound like this throughout the entire video so yeah um anyway um today we are going to be reviewing the red hearts all in one granny square when I first seen this come out, like, a month, a couple months ago, like, okay, I know this video is pretty late to the game, but I was super excited when I found out that they were coming out with this, but they sold out immediately on their website, and when I did get the chance to order from them, they refunded my order, because they sold out that quickly again, so... I did the big brain moment and went to my local Joann's and I saw that they had these. So I got this one. Um, it is called Black Hyperviolet, which gives me a lot of like Coraline vibes, which is what attracted me to it. So, um,. I really just, I just love these colors and I'm just so excited because if this works as well as I am hoping it does, I have so many ideas I can do with it and it will save like not only so much time, but you could like make so many projects with it, you know? Like, every Granny Square project I ever wanted to do. But I couldn't because I was too intimidated by, like, the ends of every color. Will be gone. But anyway. um, So, this is supposed to be all one cut, Like, all one... I can't think of the fucking words. Uh, okay, so this is supposed to have every color on one string or on one string of yarn. So I don't have to like cut and cut each every strand to make it the same color. So I guess let's get started. Welcome to the yarn hole. Um, this is where I work primarily now on my new space so here's the granny square yarn um i'm gonna take this out okay, i'm gonna read these instructions they have um so the pattern that they have on the back is for this for this right here um for this vest but they also have the instructions for the granny square itself. So it says to use a eye hook, which I have right here. So, and they want us to do four chains, which I know a lot of people have a problem with that because they want to do the magic circle. I'm not going to get that technical because I'm just going to review it um so i guess all right so let's do let's do a slip knot i know i do my slip knots a lot differently than what you're supposed to don't judge me on that and there we go we got our slip knot and it says all right i'm back um this is as loose as i'm gonna get it 
I'm done redoing everything. Um, it does look a little wonky. But that's okay. We still have this much yarn left, so I think I might just do another double crochet. There. That's a square, square, squarish, squarish. Yay. Something. Okay. On to the next row, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Double crochet, three double crochet in the same chain three space. One, two, three, chain one. One, two, three, one. I don't know, maybe, maybe this is the one where we're, well, oh my god. Where we'll get it. I mean, I already kind of got hopes. Alright, now I'm starting to lose hope. I still have so much color left and we're almost done with the square. There's still so much color left. <laughs> and we're on our last two double crochets. Ah. We're on our last two double crochets. There's still that much color left. Ah. Okay, you know what? Let's see what this one will do. We still have that much left. Oh. Yay! Definitely we'll have to block it. Um, but that looks cute. I'm not mad at it. I'm a little mad. I'm mad at this yarn. But... I'm going to put my face over the camera so that way I'm not, like, taking it away from you guys. Because I realize during this entire process I keep doing this and you guys can't see me crocheting. Which is kind of the point of me reviewing this yarn is to crochet it into what it's supposed to be. You guys missed it. You guys missed it because my freaking camera shut off on me. So, but I made a perfect square, a perfect round. Wow. Yay. We got that much left. And all we got to do is do that. Yay. Last round. So this one, I'm not going to be like as picky about because it is the last round. So whatever I have left is whatever I have left. I think once you get past the first couple of rounds, it's a lot easier. Um, you just got to figure out the tension and stuff like that, which is going to be one of my biggest issues with it. That is one of my biggest issues with it. But I know, like, it, since it's, like, color specific, it's um not going to be, like, the most perfect. Okay, that was my fault. That was totally my fault. Uh-oh. Too tight, or too loose. I know I said I wasn't going to be picky, but I kind of have to because I don't have enough now. I guess we're going to go super tight on this one. 
I got it. No, we got it. No, we don't. Nope, we don't have enough. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the chain ones. And do a tight tension. And maybe we'll have enough to finish it. Super sorry. Change my mind. I'm not doing chain one. I need enough to go on the other side. So this one's not a perfect row. I kind of jinxed myself here, but it's fine because it's not like we're making that many adjustments, right? Oh yeah, that looks so much better. I am happy with those results. We're gonna cut this end Boom. right here. I'm going to cut that off. There you go. And I'm going to fasten off. And there we go. We have a granny square. Well, that was, I think, about almost two hours took me to do that. Um... Um, so here's my honest review. Um, I do like it. I know, like, I probably, like, complained a lot about it. Um, <coughs> but let's start with the pro, or the pros. Colors, I love them. I am obsessed with these colors. They're pretty. Um, uh, yeah. I just really like the colors. Um, second pro, obviously, is if you do it right, you only have two ends to weave in, which is super convenient and super quick, right? Get a decent size granny square, so, like, you can make fingerless gloves and stuff. Um, actually, I'm probably tiny enough, it could probably fit all the way around my hand. I could probably put my hole in there. Just one square, I can make fingerless gloves. Cons, pattern, it seems clear, it seems fine, whatever, but it doesn't really talk about tension much. And tension is so important for these granny squares. Um, if you have too tight of a tension, you're going to have too much. If you have too loose of a tension, you're going to not have enough. Um, I experience mostly, like, having too much because, I, again, I tight, I crochet with a very tight tension. And then when I started going very loosey-goosey on the last round, I did not have enough. So, I believe, like, once you get the tension down on it, it's gonna work out fine. Um, and once you get, like, the rhythm going, I'm pretty sure you can wrap, wrap up, like... 13 others because apparently you can make 14 squares with it sometimes 15 depending how much is left on the ends of your yard um but honestly another con that I have is with their pattern um it's very loose very not like as tight of a as a not as tight as the granny square should be. I mean, this would be nice. Like, this kind of pattern would be nice for, like, maybe a summer fit. Maybe a summer cardigan. Something that can, like, you can wear and it's, like, air can come in and out through the holes. Um, so you're not, like, overheating. But if you're trying to make a winter cardigan or a winter sweater with this, not the best pattern. Um, because, again, you will be probably freezing your butt off. Um, yeah, so, otherwise, yeah, I kind of just started doing my own thing with this, um, I kind of just, I tried doing the pattern and what it said on the freaking, on the pattern, but 
was not working out for me, so I kind of just did my own thing. So, anyway, that'll be it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video, and if you liked it, please give it a like button. Comment down below what else you want to see me do or see me try. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I make yarn content now. Um, and, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!